Welcome, my Finians, to an all-new episode of SimCity. It is official. We have picked a name of the city, and I'd like to thank Sharktopus Kraken, who I will link below. Uh, he made many suggestions. Uh, additionally, suggestions came from uh, Necrofetish, uh, from our, uh, who I play a lot of different co-op games with. And he had done some Lovecraft, su Lovecraft suggestions, which were awesome. But what I ended up doing was taking Sharktopus's suggestion of naming it in tribute of our Minecraft Mayhem group, which is our other series. So let's name our city today. It is going to be Town of Mayhem. I like it. Hopefully it doesn't live up to its name. But in the meantime... Here we are in an all new episode of SimCity. Uh, last we left off, we had our coal mine. We just built it, but they're still hiring. Uh, people were wanting some homes, which we accommodated them with, and now they're starting to move in. I need to futurize some areas down here. Uh, let's see here. Let me look at our futuristic map, but I'm, I'm still getting used to where things show. Industrial, residential, commercial. I guess it doesn't show that. Let's look at our layers. I want to see my futuristic stuff. Futuristic map. There we go. So we only have that one futuristic building. I know we had we were gonna build another one and we never did. So let's do that. Let's do that now. Let's go ahead and futurize some of our areas down here. So we've got a lot of. I mean, we got some a mix of stuff. Oh, we haven't built this, but we don't have enough money. We need more money. That's another thing. We took out a. Did we take? Yeah, we took out a loan. <laughs> To be able to get to the situation we're in. What do we need to do to... Man, this is what I get for not playing this game for a really long time. I can't remember what I need to do to get the expansions on here. I think... Uh, so I need more residents. Yeah, I really need more residents. So we've got our coal mine. It's operational. Woohoo! And that's going to provide coal to these guys down here. Additionally, I uh, want to have a place to store this coal, but for now that's that. Let's also look at, I know we have some ore map going on right up here. We got ore. So we can put a road right through the center of that and start building some ore, but for now, we've got a big residential area. We got all this stuff here. We could put some more industrial over here, which they're not really screaming for industrial, I don't think. A um, little bit, but not too bad. We could just put some industrial along there. That gets more jobs. Um, but yeah, we need to put a park in. Some kind of just cheapy park, uh, since we can't afford that plaza. Let's put another basic futuristic building. This right there will future size all the buildings around it and make people a lot of happy people. There we go. So that completed that quest and got us a thousand dollars. That's always good. We need more money. We got industrial filling in real fast. So that's a positive. Do, 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 do. Okay, we need still more residential. And they want some middle class. We're wanting some middle class residential. So some of the things that we do to, that we do need to do. What's this guy want? To plop a house of worship. Okay, so we need to think about that. Now I can't remember where that building was. This is education which we don't have any of. We don't have any police. We need to get police in quick but man I don't want to supply it yet. Waste. A garbage dump. What's this? Let's see what they want. Mayor, to advance town of mayhem into the future, we need high wealth workers who will drive research in a new technology. The first step on a brown, brand new future ro road is attracting wealthy workers. What do you say? Sure. Okay, so have five wealthy house developments and have ten high wealth workers. Um, additionally, we need to plop down an Omega Factory and a House of Worship. Now, we've still got this water pump going on here. Now, the problem with this water pump is that it's right 
Sorry, I keep hitting the edge of my screen. I got two monitors. The problem with this water pump is that it's right next to a lot of pollution. Eventually, it's going to be next to a lot of pollution. Um, I'm trying to think of where else we can put... Look at the water increase there. I remember before that was kind of on the edge. It wasn't really a good water source. Um, it's terrible because our water sources are going right through our polluted areas. Or, yeah. So I think we're going to start working on... So we got some coal going out. I think something we need to really start working on or thinking about is getting a place to sell this stuff from. So right now we're supplying ourselves with coal, but if we can upgrade our coal production to where we're selling some coal, it would really help things. So first off, how is our... Yeah, we need another delivery truck. That's 10,000 though. Don't wanna. <sighs> Don't really wanna spend that yet. Not on that. Even though that would get us money eventually. Raw ore is so unrefined we should get a smelting factory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we need to go ahead. People are unhappy. Why are you unhappy? Are you protesting? Is that what I'm... No, I don't got any protesters yet. People are mostly happy. I don't have a bunch of angry people. What's this? There's too much open space. I want to live in a massive mega town. Really now. Alright, well. We got a big futuristic spot there. Probably wouldn't hurt to get some futuristic stuff going on in other places. Now this thing, this thing is the water pump that we kind of want to have. So rather than wait for gravity to feed your city water, give it a high-tech boost. This pumping station may require power, but that power brings your city a more efficient source of water than old-fashioned water towers. Bring futures to houses, shops, and factories with advanced water source. So this will also provide, I guess it sounds like it'll provide some uh, futuristic stuff. We could put it here over by our capital. Look how much water that produces. Well, I'm going to kind of hold off for now, because this guy's producing enough. It's not like we're hurting on water. Look at him go. <laughs> See, we're actually producing more than, than we need. Um... You know, I don't even know what to do at this point. I know we need housing. I know that there's those futuristic buildings that let you do, like, towers and stuff. So, mining. The mine is at capacity. Extraction is stopped because there's no available storage in your garage. Ship resources out. So, oh, that's right. We actually do need a place to store the stuff. This trade depot will make it to where that coal can be stored. Let me make sure this isn't going to get in the way of my other resources. But it'll make it to where the coal, the coal can be stored and then shipped out. So it's not going to get in the way of that resource or that resource. I'm going to plop this right here. It's a good place for it. So there we go. That'll get us some money and now we have somewhere to ship stuff. So that'll start getting that. Now this... Ah keep leaving the map on. This little bugger let's go here. with Trade Depot we can trade with the global market. Just add a storage module of the resource you want to trade, then select the trade market and manage the global market deliveries. So um, the big thing here is that we do want to make sure to supply some of our coal somewhere else. So let's just say. We're extracting tons of coal, literally tons. It's time to expand the coal mine. Are you ready to take coal to the next level? So let's edit it. We do have some money now. We almost have enough to pay off our, our debt, but I kind of want to get our, our production increased a little. This is a good place to put that one. So I'm going to go ahead and put that there. Now I don't have enough money to do anything else. Uh... Da, da, da. 
Alright, so... So I hope you guys are enjoying this series. I do. I have been uh, picking up a lot of... Wow, it's full already. It is full, full already. Um, I do need to have... Uh, I need to tell it where to send things. Manage a global market. You must add storage lots to trade resources, which I don't want. So we need a place for coal to be stored. We're going to put it right there. We also need to put some delivery trucks. There we go. That'll help get things going a little bit. Now, I kind of want... So this is all stuff that our uh, local is doing. So we could do coal. I don't want to export it is the thing. Right now we're using it locally because we want it to go down here to our... There we go. Nice and full. That's what I want to see. So, primarily our coal is going to get stored up and used by the power plant. I don't remember if there's a way to make it to where we can export only excess. I don't think there is. I think when it's full, it's full. So if we want to start making some money, we need to get into our raw minerals. So let's look at our raw minerals. This right here. Ouch. <laughs> Sorry, I was a bull next to me. So, oh, I could put it right there. Literally right there. I mean, it's right on the main road. That is probably the best place for it. And I won't have any major intersections. I can intersect through here. I like that idea. Okay, so let's build a road. Let's bring that back. So that's going to be our next goal, it looks like. We need houses, that's for sure. But we need some income. We really need some income. So we're going to do a medium density road right up through the heart of this junk. Which is going to use quite a bit of our money. So we're only going to go to here. There we go. That'll keep our traffic good. Now, what we want to do is go ahead and put... Let's see, we've got an ore mine. Oh, we need more money. So we got our coal taken care of. So this is going to be our next goal. I need to work on getting some money. I need to work on paying off this loan. Um, our, we need to get some more residential going big time. What's going on here? Ah. So we do need to get some, uh, some money going, so, or some more residential going on. Looking at our roads here, what's keeping us from upgrading? Density. Land value won't go up. Um, so density is... We could probably upgrade the roads. But we really need... Oh, yeah. There's nowhere for them to put the trash. Let's do that. Oh, really? I, there's no... Oh, there's no space. I really don't want to put it over there. I guess I could put it over here. Let's put a road. Because I want him to be able to get to this, but not have an intersection. There we go. So let's go ahead and put our garbage right here. Because then it can be accessed by both roads. I hate putting it so close to the shopping centers. People are going to be unhappy, but oh well. Oh, did I... Did I do that? Did I? I did. I kind of limited myself there, I think. So, I think the problem here... I think the problem I just did here is that when I need to expand... Yeah, okay, I can go the other way. Okay, whew. So, we can go... We have to build a road thingy there, but... And I can put the trash trucks anywhere, really. Okay, cool. I can actually put a truck here. I think I'll put it right there. Oh, I don't have enough money. But that'll help, because that'll get the garbage going and people will be happy and yay. Uh-oh. Here it goes. And I don't have a fire department. I'm just going to demolish them when it, you know, if it's rubble, it rubble. Get out of here. Oh, no. <laughs> They're catching each other on fire. It'll rebuild. It's okay. 
<laughs> like, we lost a whole bunch of stuff there. Our coal is nice and stock. Oh my god. Oh, that's not good. Well, and what's terrible is you can't even really do much about these industrial fires because they, um,. They, you need a totally different kind of upgrade for your fire departments, if I remember correctly. So, sorry guys, you're just gonna have to burn down and deal with it. Oh, Hopefully, I, maybe I should be waiting for the fires to go out. I know they can catch a fire at the buildings that were just built on fire. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. I'm gonna wait for those fires to go out. So yeah, that's uh, that's the end of our episode today. We got a little work done. We've got the beginning of some money-making tools going on. Once we get that ore production going and uh, get some money coming out of our ore production, that's going to really help us grow this town. Um, I know that there's ways to do... Wait for that fire to go out. I don't want them to get neighbors and burn down the houses. Just wait and just be safe. Um, I know that there's ways to... Uh, build sky rises. I don't know nothing about that yet. That's totally new for me. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about getting into building sky rises. So where are those? We've got mega towers. That's right. So we can't build these yet. So um, to build mega towers, I'm not sure how that works. Town hall upgrade to city hall region. So yeah, we can't do it yet because you know, our town halls not big enough yet. We need a bigger population to get a bigger population. Gotta love it. Um, we got... They're complaining about... Yeah, I don't want a bunch of people getting sick. I need to put a hospital in soon. God, the maintenance! The maintenance! You people are needy! Oh, man! See? As soon as they build a house, it catches on fire. So that's what I'm gonna have to wait. Well, I'll clear out this uh, little fire emergency that's going on. Hopefully it doesn't take out the whole city block. So thank you for joining me. Please like and subscribe down below. Uh, please give me a comment. Let me know what you think of the series. And join me again next time. Have a good day, everybody.